Big change is coming to a small but mighty charter school here in Cleveland. After years of planning, fundraising, and advocating, Innovation Academy West is breaking ground on a new gymnasium the school's principal says they desperately need. Tanisha Cordell took a visit to the school, and Tanisha, you found out this project is so much more than just construction. Good morning to you. Oh man, good morning guys. I gotta say, we've got to witness all the transition, all that goes through and how they've been navigating for years now. It's a lot. So needless to say, they are so excited about the upcoming change. This is all about growth, but more importantly, as a uh, principal says, this is all about the students. Their school day routine is simple. Every morning, Innovation Academy West students file in here. Oh, this space holds a lot. Into the multi-purpose room for breakfast. I call it our cafe-gymatorium. <laughs> it's a little bit of cafeteria, a little bit of gymnasium, a little bit of our auditorium. But Principal Maria Hanel Dormer says eventually that school day routine turns hectic. Right after breakfast, we immediately um, have uh, turnover from breakfast to PE, uh, especially during these winter months. Then after that, uh, it switches again to our lunch and switches back to PE. And then at the very end of the day, <laughs> um, it'll switch over to an auditorium then for a dismissal and um, for any sort of announcements and things that we need to. From a cafeteria <laughs> to a gym. How do you like gym time? What's that like? Uh, good. But... <laughs> the multi-purpose room seems to be caving in on a growing school. Mr. Williams, he's our um, art slash PE teacher, um, so he's always trying to get creative with the plans that he's doing in there because of the space, because of the height. What's that like for you? Regular. Regular? You used to it? Yeah. But this will not be the case much longer. The school recently approved these expansion renderings. Soon, an actual gym will be built on. It's exciting. I like playing volleyball, so it would be easier because these short ceilings are hard to play. The space is making way for everyone in the Between the Bridges area. A community space like this is not going to just benefit us as a school, but also will benefit um, the community as well because we want to have them here. All right, now as the school plans and waits for this new space to get added on, Principal Hanel Dormer says she's planning out even more ways to get the community more involved inside the schools. She says it's the people living between the bridges and the parents there that have really made this project possible. Danita, Mike, it's a true hustle. You saw kind of that transition going on. I don't know how they do it, but they've been pulling it off, and I'm so excited to see uh, this project come through for them. Wow, that is great. Takes a lot of energy uh -huh. to do all of that in a day, every <laughs> single day, five days a week. All right, thank you. Oh, Tanisha. yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah, I can't. All right. All right, thanks.